Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, let's continue playing as a chicken pizza here, and have a great time as we gear up for war, eventually against their caffeinated puppet, as well as the new Aztecs. Those dastardly Aztecs. Nueva Atlan must be crushed. But anyway, I am doing alright myself. Not great, but you know, not bad either. Just kind of there. A little tired, but who isn't tired nowadays? Anyways... Hmm, I have been noticing that on BitChute my videos aren't uploading or being mirrored on BitChute when they are mirrored from YouTube, so if you watch on BitChute, I apologize ahead of time, or right now, for not having the videos up whenever, but hmm, I didn't really recognize that it wasn't up. Anyways, right now we're just kind of waiting for time to go on. The results of last year's harvest wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. It was good, just not good enough. But right now we're supporting the Southern Front, which means we are trying to help support the Guerrillas de Honduras, the Guerrillas of Honduras. Maybe we can add them as a puppet in our war against these two enemy factions down here and have a great time with each other. But right now we have Colomte Sebastian II. Uh, he helps us build stuff. Maybe not civilian workshops or factories or infrastructure, but he helps us give us, he gives us stability, a little bit of war support, and military factories and dockyards. What are we building? We're building a lot of civilian factories right now. Hmm, that's okay. We have a ceasefire on the border for now. Within 30 days, I will have to be attacking on the border, which will kind of suck, but whatever. Anyways, support the southern front, and then we will do this. Civilian commerce. Yeah, that's alright. Now that the lands of Honduras are under our control, we should strive to tightly integrate their factories into our own production systems. So then they get something, and we get something as well. If they get an arms factory, we get a civilian workshop. Also, this stuff. This was a mess. I didn't clean this up from last time. You guys come over here. Actually, you all could train. That's not a bad idea. Let these guys train. We get some army XP as well as let them get a little bit stronger. And you will come up here. Hold on. Three divisions. Mm, yeah, I guess whatever. I'll keep that for now. A little bit laggy. Ooh, wrong group. Not against Petro Chico. I have no nothing against Petro Chico right now. Give me some time and I will find something to be angry about Petro Chico, but I do have a cup of coffee here, like normal. Ah, very good. And it's not from La Costa Cafeinada. Mm -mm, none of that garbage coffee from them. It's all of our coffee, the very little bit of coffee we make here on Chicken Pizza. And yes, I am calling it Chicken Pizza instead of Chichen Itza, but whatever. So we do, we might need to do a little bit of human sacrifice here, you know, just to make sure we appease the gods, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, a resistor? Ah, I love resistors. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We only have three research slots, which really sucks, but whatever. Mm, not bad stability, not bad war support either. I could raise it by expelling the riffraff, because that ultimately gives you more re stability in the end. But let's see. We can't do war economy, of course. There's no theorist. Industrial concerns could be good. Um, infantry stuff, that could be good. Military stuff, that will be very good to do. I might do special forces attack and defense and mul capacity multiplier instead of elite support because, eh, I think I'm going to go with intellectuals to at least get us to civilize before too much else. Bills battleships, that's terrible. Um, that's not great. I don't want less range, so we'll probably just do ship designer in the end. Mm, this is, this stuff isn't bad. Yeah, this stuff isn't too bad at all. For right now, for our uses, I will go ahead and choose. Ooh, what is this? Well, it looks like we have we definitely focus very heavily on the navy. But I'm going to go ahead and expel the rift raft just because I want to get maybe a little bit more stability because we might end up in a war that we might be on the offensive on someday. I'm not really sure when, but we might be on the offensive and our stability will go down if we are on the offensive. And I want to make sure that we are okay. Cool. Another division here. Go over here and be added to over here. Just so that we can guard each of the waterways when we might get attacked. So you guys are not our puppet yet. Actually, if war goes against... Oh, La Plantacion. Tower walkers clear war on them. Wait, where's La Plantacion? Oh, from Costa Cafenat. Um. Oh, okay, that's the flag. So you have... Honduras has war goals against both... Nueva Atlanta as, as well as Costa there. Hmm. 
Very nice, very nice. I don't believe we have any planes. All we can make are gliders, actually. Because we're only, like, tribal. Which really sucks, but whatever, you know. Um, we got plenty of guns now. Well, maybe not plenty, but we got an, a lot of guns. Some guns. Alright, uh, this should be ready to go. How much longer will it take? Seven days? Is it worth taking seven days to do something else? Consumer goods, output, doctor... Okay, I'll put, that's a, this is a good uh, the Grand Gulf Fleet is good to do later when we have a lot more dockyards and we can and a lot more civilian factories to build stuff up this we could use right now civilian factory construction speed let's do that first because we still have seven days left tensions on the border um, starts a border war between us and Mexico City we're going to lose this because it's basically impossible to win here really sucks but whatever you know you take what you can get right you come down here now. Do that. You guys are looking pretty good. Got a little bit more army XP. Very nice, very nice. And go ahead and stop that for now. Stop training. I want to get more infantry equipment. Can I change? No, I cannot. But I can duplicate this. Then I can edit it. Cool. Better specs. There you go. And if I have to upgrade this, I will add some demo stuff. But I don't have any demo stuff. Ooh. But we're researching demo stuff, which is, isn't bad, so. If anything, right now, go ahead and change these. Oh, I can't change them. God dang it. Maybe in time I can. Maybe I, in time I can. I'm not sure why. I have a regular division here, though. Oh, I see. I added it to the wrong group. That would make sense. There you go. There you go. That makes more sense. Ah, see, I had two four division groups, and that screwed me up. Um, you're the right one. Thank you for playing. Right, Bink? I'm joined here by my cat named Binky, and he's just sitting underneath my keyboard again. I, could, I should really practice more keyboard. I'm really not that great at it. I'm okay, but not, not really great at all. But, uh, yeah, I was joined here by him. He's licking himself very loudly. Very loudly. And he might be licking a plastic bag. I don't know. Uh, cool. Oh, and there goes the border warp. We didn't do anything about it. Just, it would happen anyways. Can we win? Like, if I push hard... Can I push hard? No, they're going to start adding in more soldiers. If I can win, that'd be great, but I don't think I will. Because they're going to pull in more and more soldiers. Ooh, and NCR took out Baja, California. So this is really kind of a waste of time for us. We're going to lose this no matter what, so. I've yet to do a border war like this to actually win, because they keep throwing in more divisions. But happy 2276, my friends. Happy 2276, and we can finally enlarge the raiding parties. Our naval operations allow us to raid settlements up and down the Gulf Coast. And into, of course, the Caribbean for the riches. This method had allowed our capital, the Chichen Itza, or Chicken Pizza, to drastically grow in population and decadence. Surely more men de dedicated to this duty can't have a downside. Get 10% more scavenging efficiency and some basic melee weaponry stuff. Cool, we got one guy out. Um, there's no way for me to like increase like a, a force attack or something, which kind of sucks. But we are becoming more and more urban specialist assault traits. And slightly more infantry leader traits. So, not bad. Ah, we got dynamite. Thank God. We're definitely going to need that dynamite. Dynamite. Last time I went with frag grenades. I'll probably go with flamers this time. Even though they're not as good as frag grenades. I decided, why not, why not just change it up this time? Um, yeah, we. I definitely want to go under civilized. This gameplay. These give you more media buffs, but... In the long run. It's definitely better to go this way. Um, right now. More recruitable population max factories in the state. Yes, please. I definitely need to do land doctrine next, but that's part of our focus trees and stuff. Scavenge for equipment. Focus on the eternal sphere. Old country join the Northern League. All right then. Are we still training some ships? We should be, right? Yeah, we are. Some of these guys are not doing anything. How long would it take to? Ooh, look at that. That does not look good. Six days. Yeah, go right ahead. Repairing. Yeah, I don't really care. Go ahead. I really don't care. I mean, this won't really do that much for us, but whatever. Give our ship something to do. Um, 
You know what? Put, put the production of any new ships on hold. Yeah, good. Do that. Put you at the bottom. There you go. That's the way we can upgrade those ships. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. Oh, wait. Before we forget, the enemy day, because that's going to come in handy. We're going to start throwing a lot of this stuff to our enemies. In time. And now we're going to start losing this because we can't do very well at it. Let's do another land doctrine. Um, improvise obstruction for entrenchment. Not bad. And more soft attack, which is not bad either. Ah, oh, coffee. Very good. Political power good. We already have 61% stability. That's pretty nice. Countdown to Ka'an. Nice. Yeah, look at this. I wish I could tell him to stop. Kaiser declared war on two sons. Yeah, I wish I could tell him to stop attacking or, you know, just hold. But, you know, the mod says nah. Oh, good. Very good. A new foe. Up in the north, past our borderlands, something is afoot. Industry is churning and resources are being stripped from the landscape. Who or what is doing this? We do not know, but we must find out. Northern Reconnaissance Mission. Ooh. What is going on up north? Tlaloc is up north. I hope he's doing okay. Because he helps keep a lot of Mexico peaceful for now. At least for now. For you, you must be getting... Eh, you don't get that much more experience. Improvise tools. Very nice. Very good. Uh, let's get some more construction first before we do anything else. Oh, we almost have another civilian factory done. We have 11. We will soon have 12. Spec Ops, they're not doing bad. How bad are these enemy soldiers? 13 to 23 infantry divisions in total. So that probably means about like 5 or 6 at max of uh, battalions per division. So that's not bad. I mean, we only have 10. But uh, Spec Ops are generally not too bad to use. Especially if they recon. That helps out. Definitely want to go with War Economy or even this, but can't do it just quite yet. Hmm. I could scavenge for more equipment, but do I need more equipment? we got plenty of guns right now. Equipment scavengers. I'm not sure what we would get. And we're not on the def... Well, we're kind of on the defense a little bit. Yeah, over here we're on the defense. I don't want to do that yet then. So, we could focus on the Eternal Sphere. We lose more support for more stability. Hmm, that's okay. I have to do Land Doctrine. Ooh, staunch expansionist. Less war support, more daily political power gain, as well as infrastructure construction, which I'm not doing. Staunch. I definitely want Guillermo Gonzalez in the future, but not yet. Um, less division organization. You know what? Let's go ahead and do this, since I'm using them right now. Let's give them better spec ops. I'll make our spec ops even better. Even better. Even though they'll be better, they still won't be able to kill these guys off. Unfortunate, but whatever. What is this? Well, they're fighting in an urban area, so that's why. Um, so attack goes down to 70%. Enemy air support goes down. Movement cost is quite a little bit higher. And that's why he's becoming more of an urban assault specialist. Good. Scavenging options. Day of Ka'an. Oh, there we go. New foe. Northern Reconnaissance Mission. After the conquest of the Northern Tribes, the Northern Frontiers went more or less quiet. However, reports of unusual sightings have started coming into this steel city. Reports that come flooding in ever more frequently by the week. Should we send an elite detachment of the Ejercito to investigate what lies past the Northern border and put down any threat there might be? Visitors from... Oh, are we going to go to war with Petrochico, maybe? Oh, God, I hope not. Technology raids. The lands to the north are full of two things. Hostile armies and technological riches. Using our tried and tested naval raiding techniques, as well as some central planning, we should be able to effectively liberate some of this technology and bring it back home for our own use. Oh, this might get us into a potential war with Petrochico, which I don't want to fight them, since they got quite a, a good chunk of manpower. They don't have a lot of divisions, which means we might be able to break through like a tile or two and then encircle some people, so... I'm not exactly sure what it will do, because I haven't really played that far into the Chichen Itza's path, or campaign path at all, really. So, your guess is as good as mine. Your guess might even be better, because you might have seen other people play as Chichen Itza, but I have not. And look, Tlaloc is still here. Our Mexican daddy. Ooh, the last stand of the 5th Company. Dreadful news from Steel City. Today, contact has been lost with the 5th Recon Ejit. As your cito, the last transmission we received from them was at 2213 last night, a panicky short transmission in which the radio man of the Recon Group informed us the group was under was under overwhelming attack by an unknown force armed with high-tech weapons. The radio man informed us most of the group had already been killed, and so the rest of the group was making a last in to try and recover the bodies of the fallen death or glory. We have no further contact from the group since, so they are presumed massacred. We shall mourn them. Oh my goodness. What happened? What happened? Please. 
What happened? They have high-tech weaponry. Do they have, like, Game Boys or something? What happened? We shall not know for a while. But I'm sure they're using their Game Boys to kill us. Kill our men. Those things are dangerous, man. But in all seriousness, man, when's the last time did I play a Game Boy? Jesus. Actually, I never owned a Game Boy. I've only owned a Game Boy Color. I like things in color, I guess. No, I was pretty young when I got my first Game Boy Color. Then I lost it eventually. Oh well. That's why I have another one for backup now. Even though I might have lost that as well. I think I have it though. Might be under my bed. Regardless. Technolo technology raids. Raiding the Army of Mexico. The Army of Mexico lies to our north, occupying much of the coastline as well as the so Soto La Marina River. Mm. Love water. Their large water frontage makes them very easy to raid. The Army of Mexico simply can't cover all the shore front. As a result, we should conduct a large-scale raid on the shoreline, stealing what we can. What target shall we focus on? Are we playing as a broken coaster? What now? Jesus. Their weapon storage facilities... Oh, oh this is going to piss off Santa Ana. Um, schematic storages. Military factories. Well, we could steal military factories, but I'm not building those. Weapon storage... How about schematics? Oh, but that sounds like we're just going to get more energy cell, like, silos and stuff. Weapon storage? Mm, we're okay with weapons for, at least, I think for now. Military factories? Probably that would be the best so I can increase the amount of military factories I can have and I can get some dynamite. Let's do that. Cool. And clashes with the Atslan. Since our first encounters with the Atslan, we have been sparring with them on the border. The process has become something of a ritual. Each side throws men at the other until forced to back down by sheer losses. Maybe this time we'll have a breakthrough. Add a skill defense point to one person and a double research bonus to land auction, which is great. And how is this border war still going on? Hmm. They are a. This is them. This is us. Um. I mean, we are. A substance abuser, but... Okay. Another division over here. Very good. Um, Raiders return from the north. The northern raid was a resounding success. Our brave Merodeadoros, after an escort from the Gulf Fleet, made landfall on the army of Mexico's completely unguarded coastline. They rapidly overwhelmed... They rapidly overwhelmed the small local militia before crushing the garrison of our target, a reasonably large industrial complex. And once inside, our troops grabbed what they could and burned down the rest before returning to the land craft and leaving as smoothly as they came. Oh, we stole two factories. Yes, baby. Now we got... Now we're playing with literal dynamite. Yes, 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 yes. And we're making half a dynamite stick a day. Love it. How does that actually work? I mean, when you use dynamite, you actually just, you know, you throw the dynamite and you can't really use it again, unless it's a dud. But even then, you can't really use it. Hmm. So, I mean, I don't know. It's weird. Um, throw another division over here for now. Do we actually have a... Oh, we actually have another. Nice. Now you're a full 24 stack army. You guys are doing well. You obviously will need more divisions over here because you need 18. Actually, the sub. Wait, I remember now. The, the attacker here, that. This is supposed to be doing the Coast Guard stuff. You're not supposed to be attacking. But god dang, look at these Spec Op soldiers. They're veterans. How long have they been in this battle? How much manpower have we lost? They're, they have quite a bit less than us, but they have a lot more divisions. Um, clashes with the Atslan. Very nice. And then, what is this? This focus will be automatically completed following the unfortunate circumstances. Oh, that does not sound good. Do we have something here? Ceasefire? Day of Ka'an? No? Well, it looks like we've got to focus on another focus now. Dockside thing here. So, our control of the seas means that our coastal trade flourishes. Our citizens are more than happy taking to the seas to trade goods. And so, markets thrive on the docks as boats bring in goods up and down the empire. Which I'm doing this instead of enlarging the forces. Just because I want that one more civilian workshop. That's really why I'm doing this. Because we're getting closer to 15. But good god, this is taking forever. Just like, lose or win? Like, I, I wish this border conflict could show us... I'm sure there's a, there might be a way for us to figure out how much manpower we've lost. Okay, I mean, there's combat with. Tactics list. Look at all the tactics being used right now. Close quarters defense, close quarters storm, close quarters local strong point. Withdraw and circlement shock. We won? Victory on the border with the merry moods and hardened hearts. Our brave Itzen warriors returned from the conquest of blank. 
Though this conquest was not without loss, it brought us great gain in the everlasting struggle with our eternal rivals. This is the first time I've seen this happen. Bring the spoils back to Chichen Itza. We got political power, army XP, becomes owner of Mexico City, and we replace enemy occupation of Mexico City with occupier of Mexico City. We get more daily political power, we get more stability, but we lose 10% war support. Holy smoke Renos, and I would not be able to hold this. Holy crap. Um, wow. Just wow. Alright, so I'm going to actually take the substance of user back. I mean, he was learning how to do some pretty good stuff. But, uh, you guys, I definitely need you up here. You can be under Kolomte right now. You come back down here, so we have just enough. Do you have any coastal provinces? No, that's good. For now. Do that, too. Oh, they actually do. Oh, it's over here. God dang it. Whatever. That'll be fine for now. You? You? I, can I convert you to better specs? Hmm. No. I want to make sure that we... Uh, I could convert... I can't convert these guys. Well, maybe for the first one, we can convert them over. That should be okay. Definitely to make some more spec stuff. Do that. Do that. That should be okay for now. Do that. That'll be good. Hmm. Yeah. I can't believe we won. We won that conflict. What the heck? Um, yeah, this is the guy I want leading my, uh, Spec Ops soldiers. And actually, it's one, two, three, four, just enough to hold the line, perhaps. Very nice. Good job, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm a little surprised we actually won. Holy crap. That's really good. That's really, really good. Now, we're just kind of waiting for a crisis to happen, I guess. I mean, we'll have a ceasefire on the border. Uh, where will this take place? I mean, I'm really pretty much ready for anywhere on the border, actually. Oh, Royal joined the Brotherhood. Oh, they actually joined the Brotherhood of Steel, huh? Let you guys get yourself situated. Go ahead for the Spec Ops, at least. There's only one division that can use this for now. It doesn't look like it doesn't give us that many buffs. But the debuffs aren't too bad right now. Sure, it lowers our reliability, but it's already at zero. So, and actually, that'll hurt our ability to fight in a march a little bit with our movement. But up. Yeah, that really won't do too much. As long as I get more soft attack, that's really what I want. Do that. That shouldn't really hurt us too much. Okay, that hurt us quite a bit for Spec Ops stuff. Uh, that's not bad. Modify the government. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of industrial stuff, so we might as well do that. Nice. We actually took... Oh, because we took that, we got even more factories. Thank God. Local workspaces. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. We can't do anything over here, which really sucks, but whatever. Um, monthly, oh, I should have done monthly population too, god dang it. But I need to do, like, more production efficiency, efficiency cap and growth. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go do population first though. Because we're still losing 10 weekly, 10 manpower every week. Which really sucks. But now, but we have control of military factories. Yeah, they, the Ejercito does. Navigating the Gulf, occupied Mexico City, so good. That results of last year's harvest. We failed, we have tensions on the border in Mexico. We will see how this goes. It might not go great, but it might not go bad either for us, just because we do have a little bit of dinamite now on our one Spec Ops division. Dockside, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Um, following unfortunate circumstances. Uh, I don't know when this is gonna happen. But let's go and do enlarge the forces. We have many thousands of men under our control under our command, but our borders stretches for many thousands of meters and expanding with each new conquest. New regiments are required to fight on the front and to protect the heartland. Absolutely correct. And if I could, this is my regular infantry. It's only 10 combat width. It's not great. This actually gives them a little bit more breakthrough, but it takes away just a little bit of organization, which we, 53 is pretty good. It takes away a little bit more supply, which is fine. Reliability doesn't matter. Weight doesn't matter. Production cost. I don't mind if some of our soldiers are not really experienced, if that means, you know, they don't have, like, a full orange bar right now, because that's okay, in my opinion, because eventually we will get it done. Actually, for right now, come up here. I need you to flesh out a little bit more Pioneer kits. That'll be great. Tensions on the border. NCR declared war on the Scorpions. Pretty normal. Guys are struggling a little bit with two suns, but that's okay. Right, Bink? Oh, he's taking a nap on my plastic bag. Ah, oh, beautiful animal. Well, maybe to me. Cool. So supplies, I mean, we're doing okay. We got plenty of guns. That's good. 
Initiative's failure in Nueva Atlan. Though for a time it looked as if our neighbors were moving to seize, things have petered out on the border due to any combination of internal circumstances. Our enemies are no longer, no longer making an effort to seize our territory. Good. Clay working. Very nice. Next up, we're going to go back up to do basic tools. As we wait... Oh, Dead Horses was annexed. Um, alright then. Tensions on the border in zero days, which is kind of weird to say, but whatever. And then now we're going to have a cease fire on the border. Oh. Well, let's see what happens here. We got a lot of naval XP. I'm liking that. Army XP isn't bad either. I could focus more on recon companies, um, chem companies, as well as logistic companies. I think that would be good. But also flamers and stuff eventually. No longer get the effects of encouraging commerce. So we lose a little bit of our factories, but that's okay. Not bad, not bad. It's just, I'm kind of waiting now to see what'll... Wait, what is this going to be? Ceasefire on the border. Oh, enlarge the forces. Very nice. Regiment the Ejercito. Enable editing of development... Oh, the infantry one. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's not bad. Naval reform. Well, let's do this one. So, the Ejercito are our elite forces. They consist of recruits from urban areas and are regularly drilled and are well-equipped. However, the size of each group varies among... According to volunteer willingness and local populations, we should strive to standardize the Ejercito entirely, creating a new, few new divisions in the process. Nice. What do we get? We got four more divisions. Another oh, 12 combat width with support companies. Nice. That's actually pretty good. Um, you guys are over here. You're guarding the entire line. Um, you guys are doing okay. I need one more division, but we'll get that eventually. How about this? Just go ahead and throw yourself on the nine division guys for now. Better specs. We got some regulars. Ten combat width is pretty much what I can afford right now. You guys, ten combat width. Demolition don't really need that on the on these guys right now. Um, organized agriculture, very good, very good. Land doctrine or robotics, I guess. It's going all right. We have a bonus for that. Basic weaponry, we can't do that yet. Can't do this yet. Division training times, okay. Specialized divisions. Well, obviously we want to go with uh, ranger mountain training and stuff like that. More organization. Ooh, special forces multiplier and minimum capacity could be increased. That's pretty good. We could get gliders, but that's okay. Ah, let's get some more monthly population. Hmm. How how are we already in pretty much within 27 minutes of this video? That makes no sense. That makes no sense to me. Results of last year's harvest. Well, let's see what happens. It might we might need to actually have a bad harvest or something. I'm not really sure. What is Nueva Atzlan doing? Speakers on the... Ra they have radio? Hmm. They don't have a lot of manpower. They de definitely have more divisions than us, but that's okay. Let's see the loss. Uh, um, legislature. What are they doing? They went with Imperial Decree. Alright. Can you please go to war with me? Oh, activate demand rifle territories. Well, they might do that. Memories of an empire. Salt upon the wound. Well, let's see what happens with them. Uh, oh, we can go to partial mobilization. Yeah, that's definitely what I'll, what I'll do next. Good, we have 15, and then we'll have another one. Then we'll start building some military factories as well here. Oh, definitely up there. Yeah, put that one up top first. That's some good stuff. All right, and we have countdown to day of Ka'an. Definitely see what happens here. Uh, uh, Regiment of the Ejercito. Next up will be... Oh, God... I'm, I'm really limited. I can't do anything until we get that focus, like, taken care of. It might be bugged. I don't think it is for this one focus that we need to do for one expe one expedition too far. What I might need to do is send out scavenging people to find, like, equipment. But anyways, Division de Mero... Ooh, small marine units. Ooh. Perfect. Uh, they are small marine units under separate command from the rest of the army. This makes them perfect for small-scale invasions over rivers or seas, and so should be expanded upon. Nice, that's actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do sca search for scavenging equipment and see what happens with that. That sounds like we might need that to get the next focus going. I don't know for what... I mean, it says expedition, so I'm thinking, you know what, that might need that, so... Uh, improvise obstructions, since we have a low bonus right now. Let's take a quick look. Wasteland tactics or ancient tactics? Let's see, we get more soft attack, less supply use, that's good, for the entire army. Infantry gets more breakthrough soft attack. Oh, soft attack, hard attack, special forces capacity multiplier, more breakthrough, which is good, more entrenchment and defense, and then less infantry combat width. 
a, a major chunk less of organization loss when moving. But on the wastelands, um, that's okay. Infantry recovery rate. Reconnaissance is not bad, but I already have recon on them. That's pretty good for infantry combat with uh, being lowered. Breakthrough is 5%. Uh, uh, that, the guerrilla tactics, that's not really worth it right now. Yeah, definitely go on the left side if you're going to do anything. Ancient tactics. Let's do that. Decimation. Well, isn't decimation like in the Roman army, like the Roman Empire, like at one point was like everyone, like every 10 men drew straws, and if you like drew the shortest straw, you would end up stoning that man to like keep morale high. So failure must be punished, but how can an army punish large groups of offenders? Decimation. Yeah, there you go. Divide the men into groups of ten and force him to draw lots. Whichever man the lot falls to is ex executed by his nice spears for the failure of the whole. Ah, I love it. Oh, Day of Ka'an. Um, I already read this last time. Time to sow the seeds of winter. Next year's Day of Ka'an looks moderate. Ceasefire on the border. I don't know where this will be. Ocrifi sacrifice. Offer a sacrifice to Hun Nal Yi. Um, I'll probably select this. We will lose about 2,100 manpower and lose 5% stability. So the predictions for next year's harvest will increase. Um, I have this ability to do it now, so we might as well expand the divisions. Very good. Naval reform. Let's do that. At the moment, our navy is heavily decentralized, focused around small raiding parties and a larger main fleet. We should strive to integrate the fleets together around a central command structure to allow strategic control over the Gulf. And we have... Oh, that's just another division. Cool. Nice. Yeah, you just come over here. You'll feel right at home. Unless we have... Oh, we actually have... Oh, we have three of them located all over the place. Good. Nice. How actually are they when they go around amphibious invasions? Movement speed, base speed. That makes sense. So now we have... You can convert, but... Oh, you're actually just another one of those regular ones. Okay. Um, other than that, there's not really much going on. Next year's harvest will be good. It might not be great, but it'll be good. Right now, we're just kind of waiting for something to happen. We can't join factions. We can force. We cannot force governments of another country to adopt the same ideology, but we can send volunteer forces. But other than that, there's really not much else that we can... Oh, never mind. The Columte has been injured badly at the moment. Details are sparse. All we know is that the Columte was hit at medium range while inspecting troops on the northern border at dusk. The bullet appears to have entered the, his spine and punctured a lung. Oh, the Columte swiftly fell unconscious, but is clinging to life for the moment. His dreams were surely shattered by a bullet in the dark. Rulers come and rulers go, but will our kingdom fall apart? Oh my gosh, political instability. Mine is 40% political power, critically ill. Oh, oh, oh no. He retires? No! No, 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 we need him. I don't care if, if he's crippled. God, oh, we can't even do this now, man. Yep. Oh, we can't even do this now. This focus will be automatically completed after a little while following the completion of the previous focus. Oh, boy. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, what is this? Planning speed. Planning speed. Um, I guess for now... This guy definitely wants to lead the country, but whatever. That's all the time for we had today. Uh, we were doing pretty well until tragedy struck our dear Colomte. Oh, Sebastian II, why? Now we get... Okay, point one point zero two political power a day. Good. Anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. We have expanded our forces. We have taken over Mexico City. We're feeling kind of iffy with Colomte being sick. Um, subscribe if you're new, like I said. Uh, check out Discord. Uh, there's a Discord link below. Tell me hello in the greetings section of my Discord. And I will see you tomorrow. And I hope you all have a great chicken pizza day.